Hello YouTube, this is Piss and Moan, and today we talk about the Avengers. What are those? I wish Thor looked like this. Who's Thor? That. Who are you? I mean, you do a whole movie like this. Who am I? Stop. <laughs> I don't know who hey, I said on, that to, on. you or me. Stop! <laughs> For all the ASMR I'm... listeners out there. <laughs> I'm totally going to do that now. <laughs> Beard wrestling jump scare ASMR. <laughs> Just, oh, this, yeah. <sighs> Stop that. <laughs> we are trying. Okay, sorry, no, we're we not trying. Oh, my God. Do not. Well, yours is much more bristly. It works much better with your yeah, face. Yeah, I haven't trimmed in a while. I have to you just this. have a lot more facial hair than I do. I've got very intermittent. It doesn't yours work on very the thick. sides. I've tried it. It did. Someone just it disagreed. It was not. No, it wasn't thick enough. You could. It looked like I had a goatee amongst my other facial hair. I disagree. <laughs> I mean, I can do it again. That was the goal was to try and get it to grow out thick enough so I could get something. The key full. is to let it grow out long enough. I have to. This is significantly longer than the bottom because this is so much thinner. Look at how thin my facial hair is compared to you. If yeah. I can do a chin strap, you can too. <laughs> Uh, I literally don't have facial hair between my mustache and beard. It doesn't well, exist. I have very little. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't even get under the lip stuff. I mean, it's mostly you white. You have more than me. I, I can find other things to disparage about my facial hair that you can disagree with. <laughs> we could compare hairlines if you wanted to rub it in my oh, face a little done. more. I have, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that is why I do the comb over. <laughs> I've got my father's hairline. Uh, Screw you, Dad. I have my father's hairline. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> <sighs> now that I'm 30, I finally decided to start styling my hair because I couldn't hide my receding hairline otherwise. <laughs> I would style my hair more. Now I just have a enormous forehead. <laughs> but you can't see the hairline. <laughs> Sorry, I, you were going to style I, I hair. don't. I, I can't style my hair. It actively fights me. you got to find the right product. There's such a wide variety. Like, you need to go for the hard gel and just, like, do the but slip even, back. But, but the I problem is I, will, I, I gel the hair and then it poofs out anyway. <laughs> well, there's a lot of different products these days. I think a pomade or one of those more gentle guidance would be better for you. It's not as about much about forcing it so Hair much care as and game. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of research on this so I'm actually really interested in it because yep. I've got such a horrible hairline. I've been, been taking a... advice from my Discord. I've changed how I washed my hair based on some of the advice they gave me. I use a conditioner that's oil based now. Um, uh, oh my I... god, I've definitely noticed a huge difference between using cheap conditioner and uh, good conditioner. I haven't used oil based conditioner though. I'm not familiar with that. Do you condition all daily? I have to do No, it it's every couple showers I do conditioning. I, think. I do it like twice a week, otherwise my hair gets crazy greasy. The uh Do you hair dry? Hair. No. I Ooh, that is huge for styling your hair. Okay, I've heard that damages though, so that's what? the heat will damage the hair is what I've I was told to avoid the towel and avoid the uh hair dryer. So what I do is I use a t shirt that's a cotton blend. To, uh, I've never heard either of those advice. So I just recently got into styling, and my bud, I was like, "How do I do this better? I'm struggling so I'm much." I'm taking these control. tips from women with long hair. Yeah, but they don't have men short hair. Fair. There's very different things. I got to conditioner because of women. I didn't. I was just like, <laughs> up until high school and like my first girlfriend. I just used baby shampoo, like, the whole way up until, like, high school. And they're like, oh, your hair is not very soft. I'm like, oh. I wanted cool bottles. That's what I wanted out of my shampoo. <laughs> and I wanted shampoo and body wash combo. No oh. time for any of that uh, wash hair, then wash body stuff. You got oh. me in and out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, one gr girl just like, yeah, we're going to make your hair softer. And she just literally took me to Target and bought me conditioner and that was my life changing moment yeah, your hair changing moment but so what he said is like 
it, I'm like, how do you get it to do it? I'm struggling so much to match this. This is kind of like a back, but up. And it's sort of to the side. It's like an up and swept, like mine, but much better. But uh, he's like, it's like 80% hair dryer. It's mostly done by the time he puts any product in it. Okay. And then I tried it, and it's been night and day. It's absolutely, you style dried hair. hair then. Yes. <laughs> So Avengers Endgame. I should give you mine. That way oh we can, they can justify buying a new one. So my wife really wants God a new one. God damn it. Are you my dad? <laughs> it's oh a great my hair dryer. My I wife just will, wants a oh new one. Oh my God. I will drop kick you. We have some cups if you want. Jesus. <laughs> this is my life. Getting handed so things wait, Hold on. I want to know how long we are into the movie recording. before. Five minutes in. Okay. That's We're not bad. Not uh, we, so, Last we brought, Jedi. Yeah, I was going to say, have we brought Last Jedi up yet? I actually don't have any really good comparisons from this to that. So, Endgame. Um, uh, yes, I do. Character assassination. Oh, yeah, there's a big one. Uh, it's difficult because the character assassination is only character assassination in the grander scheme. Like... If you kind of narrow your scope down to just look at Infinity War and Endgame, it isn't character it's assassination. It's consistent, but it sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it because I. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Stop being vague. Um, I really enjoyed the thing about the stuff when the punching and the winning happened. Um, with the I really people. liked a lot of what they did with this movie. I described this. I said describe like right away after. This is a movie of extremes. The good is some of the best stuff I've seen in a Marvel movie ever. It, it, the emotional hits are impactful, heartfelt. The conclusion is so satisfying and sad. And the execution was great. The great was great. And then there were some parts where I literally like, wow, they did that. Uh, that was that was more jarring than that stupid car in the Black, Black Panther. Panther. Just sliding in on a chair and a steering wheel. It was more jarring than that, and that's impressive. I, uh, I, <clears throat> and I described this movie when we came out as a 10 out of 10 and a 1 out of 10 at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I agree heavily. Uh, Some of the creative decisions they made were so clearly based around the continuation of the extended universe than anything to do with the actual plot of the movies or story. It... it it's another movie that felt railroaded by the need to continue Which the sucks, universe. Because it's a fantastic conclusion to the Avengers. And it's good saga. enough it's a good enough conclusion that we never have to go see another one. Except Guardians of the Galaxy. And no. Spider Man. No. I didn't like Guardians of the Galaxy too, so I Yeah, that was a weak just... one. One was good though. He disappointed me. I was super hyped after all the trailers and it just See, because that was my problem. For many years, I was like, this this is the Marvel movie that will change the game for all of MCU. And they all just stayed the same. They stopped they stopped changing the universe uh, in Winter Soldier. That was the yeah, last yeah. big one to affect everything. I agree strongly. Um, Not even the damn Sokovia Accords in Civil War had any impact beyond that one the movie. superheroes. Yeah, it just... There was... <sighs> yeah, same with this movie. There's so many good... The bad was really bad in this movie. and There's a lot of things that really frustrated me. And I didn't feel made sense. They did some good character conclusions. They did some bad character conclusions. Yeah... Some of them I can't say are wrong, but they piss me off. I don't like them. And they did because uh, there, there were some there clearly to set up future Marvel stuff. And so, I this movie is so detailed. I don't feel comfortable talking much about it without getting into spoilers. So I want to kind of go into spoilers. I'm going to give it my out of ten. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Because uh, the problem is. It's just so I've hard given to it my score. It's, it's score. It's one and ten at the same time. That's what I was gonna say. So, this this is a ten out of ten movie with some ridiculously bad parts. So much so that I'm taking two points flat off of what I feel is a ten out of ten movie. I'm just uh, gonna average. I'm gonna give it a five. five. Out of 10. <laughs> I'm giving it an eight. 
Um, because <laughs> this absolutely had the potential to be a 10 out of 10. Uh, a couple of really dumb decisions that were so meta and obvious and frustrating. I'm taking two points off. It's, yeah. It, it felt like it felt like Captain Marvel where they there's someone in the background like they've got this team they're making a great movie is like hey what if the cat cuts his eye off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's throw that in there. It's, there's parts like that in this movie. I don't think they complain enough about the damn cat wrecking all the other movies. Oh, jeez. Not all of them. Just, just oh. all of uh, Just Winter Soldier. No, just, yeah, just one I of was the best say, movies. No, just all of... Uh, God, I'm blanking on his name. Fury. Fury. Yeah. You know, not that cru- crucial his component. Name, his first name is your name. Yeah, it's hard to remember. <laughs> What's my name again? You, dude, you, I suppose you struggle with everyone's name. You've called people <laughs> by your first name before. Ah, it's probably. I wouldn't even remember. It's how bad it is. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 5 out of 10 I think I don't see again engineer bastard needing to give specific scores I just I don't want to give it a score because 1 out of 10 doesn't describe its quality and 10 out of 10 doesn't describe its poor moments and 5 out of 10 doesn't give either enough credit I, I, I have to agree I think this is probably the hardest to grade movie of any I've ever done because it's it's so good and so bad. I've not seen a movie that is so extreme like that. Like I've seen camp movies where they're bad, but a great bad. But this was great and bad. Not nothing in between. It was it was strange. It's like there was two people writing it. We're so brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Big thong. So uh Spoilers? Split. How is that reverse back? <laughs> dab, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> Can we dab at each other? Oh, God. That's embarrassing. There's a bag up there. Fusion dab. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to do this now. Fusion dab. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> we are grown adults. Hey, we are grown adults. Fusion uh, dabbing. Oh my god. Now, is the question do, do we fusion dab like this, like touching I heads, run. or do we I, fusion dab yeah. like this, hands touching? <laughs> I'm so out of self respect that I can't do it. I don't know if I've ever dabbed before. I've done the floss. Though. I only dab, ironically, I can't floss. I mean, I watched the video once, but I haven't. I saw either the kid explain it or Ninja explain it. It's like, it's a one, two, and then a one, two, three, four. It's like the arms do a one, two, three, four. Or no, it's because it's one, two, one, two. <laughs> what? No. Stop explaining flossing. <laughs> one, two. So in the uh, one, Avengers Endgame, my, they, they open it up with a... Uh, it is, okay, it's not quite opened up with the five-year time jump. What they do is they open it up with Captain Marvel showing up. And Deus Ex Machina fixing everything. Yep, uh, Tony's floating in space. So oh, he's fine now. Real emotional scene. Tony's dying of hunger and starvation and out of air. Really great connection with Nebula. Great scene. I love that bit with him and Nebula. With, uh, with that Thor? Camarader- Thor and Nebula? No. Or- Iron Man. Iron Man and Nebula. They're oh, like yeah. playing little football. Oh, yeah. And she's like... I went in. off into space in my head for a second, so don't mind me. Yeah, I really... And then Captain Marvel... Do they Marvel have any... Is- you know what? Do they have any other scenes together after the opening? God. I, I, I'm going to break like this I said, movie. Great? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this movie again in my head. Just... Uh, during this There's whole so time. much good though. Think about how good that scene uh, was. That was so good character <laughs> growth. It was a great scene for nothing. <sighs> Another problem with a lot of movies. I and then they just fix the whole. There's problems with Captain Marvel just being Captain Marvel it's, and fixing whatever she it, comes it, into contact with. It's Kingdom Hearts thing. Everything works out fine. Don't worry about. It. So then they all get together and they go and they kill Thanos. Just, and we're done. It's like five minutes in. Does Iron Man join him for that? Yes. D- Captain Marvel pretty much just takes care of the whole thing and then okay. Thor just cuts uh, Well, I remember off. him being pissed. I didn't remember if he went to hell. Ah, language. <laughs> oh. Please stand by. We are experiencing technical... I'm not editing that out. I'm the swear word or the throwing <laughs> up in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Are you yeah, okay, acid, man? It's acid reflux, right? Isn't that what it is? I don't know. I've never had it. I don't know either. I'm a paragon of health, except for the two years of pneumonia. Pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know, did you have a problem with them killing Thanos? It was not what I was expecting. No, I... I don't know. I didn't like the five-year time jump that resulted from it. I, I What I do like is that sets up a, a very interesting, like... Think of a standalone... I struggle to see a standalone movie in that because it's... Oh, in the five-year gap? Think about what that means to the Marvel Universe. Think about if they do Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that continues to that point. Half of the population is dead. People, like, their their spouse died. They, they move on. They get married. Then their spouse is just back. Oh, you were all flying in an airplane, and the pilot vanishes. The airplane flies down to the ground, crashes, explodes. Everyone's dead. Then and the airplane come back. Then the no, the airplane pilot comes back in the air. In the <laughs> air. Well, I, there's a lot of unanswered. Yeah, I suppose they don't say where people come back when they come back. But yeah, all yeah. the people that died because of the that happened, not when it happened. What are all the ramifications? This is a five-year gap. So much happened. Well, and they and they only dress it in terms of the superheroes. Yeah. There's a huge amount of unexplored stuff there that I'd be interested to see. And I, I thought it was really cool to see Captain America in a little self-help group trying to get people to get better. Because it's something he struggled with. Yeah, it, can, from the start. it makes perfect sense for his character. Continuity. Just... Like, when, when, I, when we talked about like characters were done well in this movie, Cap and... Iron Man, phenomenal. Nebula, Nebula, another one. Love Nebula. Um, Hawkeye. Not what I expected, but I had no problem with it. Yeah, I thought, I'm. Tr- I'm trying to think. It was a. It was a different direction, but I don't think I had any problems with yeah, it. Yeah, it. It feels like a. The only reason Hawkeye has been a good guy is because of Natasha and his family, and when he loses his family. Natasha has to go and become yeah, and she does, she's Nick Fury. To she can't be there for him. And he just he goes into revenge mode. Oh, no. I'd love to see a standalone Ronin movie. I, more more Hawkeye and Romanoff. Yeah. Oh. More Hawkeye and Widow. I don't think there is a single uh. less or less utilized duo than those two. For two characters with zero superpowers, they have so much chemistry... Such good acting, and they have completely squandered them. In we don't have to shove in a damn love story. It would be great, right? A strong <laughs> male and woman who are not in love. He's his best buds. <laughs> He's Romanoff. <laughs> I'm over here all dark and grim, and you're. <laughs> Uh, the okay hand is for Discord friends. I have you know one. that's been appropriated by the media. I don't care. By the white... Pepe the Frog can be some sort of white nationalist thing all I'm he sorry. wants. I, I just don't find it care. so amusing because like some 4chan trolls are like, let's make the peace side or the okay side be a white power. See, it's it's a W and a P. It we'll, we'll we'll pretend like this is a thing. We'll get the media to buy on it, in on it. It'll be hilarious. Media totally buys in on it. I just they they legitimately buy in on it, and now they've bought into it so hard. Legitimate white nationalists are actually using it because it's. So the white nationalists, the the media. <laughs> That's one way to start a video <laughs> up again. <laughs> the media actually buys into it so hard that the white nationalists are actually using it. Like I just got banned from. All Red Sox, White Sox, I don't know. One of those baseball teams. Cubs, maybe? He got banned from all games forever because, like, they were doing a broadcast and he, like, stuck in an upside-down OK sign. Well, the, the, Which the, isn't the, even the, the white the, power the, thing. But they're like, the, the, oh, that's the, that is incredibly offensive and we're the, not even touching it and it's out. That's the, that's the, the thing yeah, the, from the, high school. The, yeah, the, 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 hit him in the shoulder. <laughs> See, I had to go down this tangent because it's so freaking hilarious. Like, this is this is stuff you couldn't make up. For anyone just grabbing a random clip of this, we are talking about Marvel Endgame. Avengers, and Marvel's Avengers, Disney's Endgame, Star Wars, <laughs> Fox, <laughs> <laughs> uh, X Men, X Ban. 
Uh, but so, back at the plot. I... Uh, another tangent. I'm, I'm going to come up with something just so we have another tangent. I thought um, it was pretty cool how they had Natasha take over S.H.I.E.L.D. and become kind of the new Nick Fury. That was a, that was a cool... I'm not sure how it felt character consistency. Wow, she's been all over the map in character. Well, and that was the whole point. Like she wasn't a good fit for her for it, and it wasn't good for her. And she just what was her and Cap both? Although no one is bad as Thor, (sighs) because we haven't had Thor. Let's not get into Thor yet. Let's get (laughs) let's get through some of the other stuff. Because I hate what they did with Hulk. Oh my! I haven't seen Hulk fight. In three movies. <laughs> He's the strongest freaking Avenger. I don't care what Captain Marvel is. He is the strongest Avenger, canon-wise. And they've literally neutered him to he doesn't fight anymore. And they injured him with him out fighting. I... It's so frustrating. God. I'm a bit of a Hulk fanboy. Like... I'm always angry is one of the most iconic lines of the Marvel universe. And now he's just and scientist he, with the glasses. Just he couldn't. literally goes, rah, rah, throws some stuff around, which I thought was a great scene, except that they don't do anything with him. Well, and it was so dumb because they cut off... They, they cut literally off, they cut off the, the plot from Infinity War because it was a big issue that the Hulk wouldn't come out and basically it allowed Infinity War to work. So, because they had to not have Hulk there. Although they already just kind of established that Thanos could beat Hulk because we don't yeah, need to see that. It was a setup without a payoff. It was just kind of, oh, it worked out. It's something weird now. Oh, it's so frustrating to see literally Hulk smash in the movie in a sling, wearing glasses, having not fought a single fight. <laughs> Zero payoff. Like, if they wanted to do something... Although, I just like the idea that they've completely removed the the core of what makes Hulk and Bruce Banner them. It's a Jekyll and Hyde yes, the, dichotomy. Yeah. They've just gotten rid of that. and they, They've literally just killed the Hulk. The Hulk doesn't exist anymore. He's just now get it. Buff Banner. I, I don't get it. Did they retcon that at the end? I can't remember. What do you mean? Like, did that... Do they undo any of that at the end or is he still nerd hulk at the end no he's still nerd hulk that's why i was so frustrated he literally ends the movie at that's Captain, right in the cast at, yeah. yeah in a cast at the funeral is he on the poster oh yeah there he is yeah well no bruce banner is there that same thing now yeah <laughs> no it's buff banner now buff banner my bad and it's just... frustrating when Ant Man gets better screen time than the Hulk. And I was I wouldn't be so upset if they if they didn't feel that they could stick a stupidly overpowered character like Captain Marvel in there that has zero weaknesses, unlike the limitations of Hulk of being literally just a strong guy. And they're happy to have her fight in the final movie, final fight, but literally someone who's been there since Avengers doesn't even get to fight in the final f- thing. And and they still have to figure out how to neuter her in the final fight, too. Well, they, no, they just don't have her be a part of the... I don't even no, know No, she takes out the damn ship. Yeah. And then she just stops doing things. Yeah, like, but they, just, don't, they don't neuter her. They just have him get, her get punched and not show up again. That's literally it. He pops her once with the infinity... Or not the infinity... Which didn't well, they, make sense they square to me. off a little? Just, yeah, they have like a duke, and then she he pops her, and then she just doesn't exist for the rest of the film. They didn't know what to do with her, so they just didn't include her in the film. They had their, like, little bit where they showed that she's clearly the most powerful Avenger because, you know, strong female characters are just strong and don't have character. And then moved on with life. You know you haven't done a strong female character when you literally can't include her in the movie because she's so stupidly overpowered (laughs) and has no character. You've done something wrong. Okay, we're good. Whatever we can do to sideline Carol Danvers. That's the the Scarlet Witch? No, that's it's Captain Marvel. Oh. Scarlet Witch Scarlet Witch wasn't in the movie till the end. Yeah, they did her great, I thought. Apparently she's um uh, like on par, like power wise with uh 
She well, Captain Marvel supposedly, I guess, I think. I don't magic. Know. She's she's, she's she, super powerful. Apparently, she's very vaguely explained in the movie. I think like of the Avengers, she's actually even if you include Captain Marvel's silliness, the one who fights Thanos the best. He literally okay. forces her to. She literally forces him to have to deploy all of the weapons to blast oh, the right, whole yeah. battlefield. Yeah, you know what? See, there was a strong female character, someone who had emotional ties, reasons. Oh no, no, and no! It doesn't character. count because her character drive was being in love with the man. So she's invalid well, he is literally as a ceased to exist. He, she's invalid as a female character because she had a man in her past. I mean, she actually had motivation and character. It's, you know, I would have... I loved that scene when she was kicking the butt butt out of him. That felt great. I would have loved... I don't she's... even know who you are. That is one of my favorite lines <laughs> in the Marvel Universe. No, you will. Or... I, I would have loved if she'd stuck... She should have been wanting to survive the snap just for character building. Because we... Because she's going to be part of the future Avengers. We need more of her. We need to understand her better. They don't give her any... I don't know if she's going to be part of the future Avengers. They give her so little screen time, I doubt it. They didn't bring Why back did... Vision, did they? No. They can't. He wasn't killed by the snap. He's a robot. They can stick the gem back in. The gems had to be returned. To where? The original timelines. Which, I'm still not clear. Cause... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. They, Because they... <sighs> All the movies have... So, I want to talk about the time... Thing a little because I'm not sure I fully get the it. The time, well, no, I time travel bugged the crap out of me. I lot. thought it was really good because it looked to me like they were going down the multiverse method of like they weren't going back in time. Yeah, but it, dis- it breaks its own rules by in it uh, creates rules and then says it has no rules and still manages to break those rules. I disagree with you. I think I think I've come up with a, an explanation that makes it all make sense. Is it you writing the movie or is it them writing the movie? Well, it's me trying to explain what I saw and I think it makes sense. Okay think because the captain america part like like that just breaks all the logic unless he went to a different universe lived out his life in an alternative reality way longer because captain america doesn't really have a lifespan that i was aware of he literally spent like decades under the ice yeah yeah decades no yes so yeah not centuries uh i think he lived his whole life in another timeline used the pin particles to come to that one to drop off a shield. That he didn't just live up to that point, because that doesn't make any sense. It physically doesn't work that he just like stayed back in their past and that's just him at that time because he lived there. It, I really hope that's not what they meant because that doesn't work with the logic or laws of the I'm, movie. I'm just not following. I'm sorry. It's... So, clearly, when you go back in time, that either is a different universe, like multiverse... Theory, well, then he wouldn't have, if he if he went to an alternate universe, he wouldn't appear at the end unless he used the pin particles to go there. He goes okay. into the future. That's not and in the comes movies. Back. Not explained in the movies. Agreed. Done. <laughs> Solved. It's bad. Ah, no, because that's the only explanation I can come up with. Otherwise, it completely breaks the like. Because then, Captain America not only sat on the sidelines and didn't participate in any of the events of the movies and changed her lifetime she was married with kids yeah they they really do f up the whole backstory unless it's a different universe (laughs) (laughs) since we're on captain america bucky should have gone with him or should have gotten the shield like that's 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 no he didn't need to get the shield what he needed was to be the one who got the conversation at the end. Yeah, I don't. Talk I don't about care. Sidelined. I Jesus. Do, I I don't care if Falcon's the one who gets in the comics. I don't care who gets the shield. Because I'm not watching any of it. <laughs> Captain Bucky Falcon was no Bucky was ninety percent of Cap's motivations for the, the last past three movies? chapters of the. Ah, uh, oh God! Doesn't even get a lie. Oh, dumb! No, no. You, you can go talk to him. It, it, this is your thing. No, it's not. It is literally <laughs> Bucky's thing. You are his best friend. You have... <laughs> Bucky has been so neglected by the movies since Winter Soldier. It's legitimately frustrating. Yeah. He's basically a prop in Civil War. And then he is, he's he really is sprinkled throughout the others as a teaser for Endgame. Because uh, I, I like that guy and I like his, 
he, he's a good actor, I thought. I've seen him in some other stuff that I really like. I don't know why they just like, completely and utterly sidelined him. That felt so... Like, that's where I get to the point where like, it doesn't just not make sense. It's jarringly out of place. For Captain America to have lived his life without Bucky, his best friend, who he worked so hard to save, at the expense of his own body and life, essentially. And then, like, putting up a fight with the entire Avengers to support Bucky because it's the right thing to do. Captain America's whole, like, basis of moral and storyline and his entire plot just thrown out the window because we want to hand the, the shield off to someone else. Yeah. It, it was jarring. It was... There's a couple of those jarring moments. It's just completely... It, 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 we're jumping around a ton. Well, we're focusing character by character. Which we're saving Thor we're, for last. Oh my god. Probably Iron, not. We should save Iron Man for last. Because Thor, we don't really have much to talk to other than... Actually, no, I think we, I want to complain about that one a bit. Okay, I don't um, have much complaints about Iron Man. I'd be comfortable with Well, like, yeah, that's that why I wanted great. to save him to last. We should end on a positive note. But no, I'm not we done. are the Star Wars Last Jedi show, and everything ends negatively. We're piss what and is moan, it? not <laughs> smiling happy. I'm trying to stay positive. No, I am really not. <laughs> uh, just because there, there's more I had to say about... Who were we talking about? Captain America. Captain America. The ending. Because it just makes... I know they wanted to give him his last dance with That Bucky. was great. I'm that happy was great, with the, but it's at the expense of Bucky and all character logic. And it's, it's frustrating because, like I said, there's a way they could have explained it. They could have done a, a fast forward of him having his final dance, him at her deathbed, him going long into the future, just some quick time lapses, him putting on the suit and then him showing up there like, like three extra scenes just yeah and how impactful would that have been getting to see him at his at her deathbed f- being with her from start to finish for a change uh, I just, uh, they, they said we had to make time to not talk to Bucky there's some characters that really got sidelined I really and, feel that's what happened to Natasha. And you know, it sucks because of how well Infinity War did it. Yeah. They, it was, it's a huge backstep. Because they snap away half the characters. Okay, we only have to put on half the work. But they did less than half the work. I think Infinity War is probably the best uh, uh, Marvel movie they made. I, Followed closely and maybe tied, maybe beaten by uh, Winter Soldier. Winter, Winter Soldier, Soldier was phenomenal. Uh, I mean, my problem with Infinity War was being taken out in the first five minutes with Loki's death. I literally... And Thor. Or not Thor, but Hulk. I, Hulk I, and Loki just getting removed from the film. So we've already broken the language barrier at this point, right? The the language in, in the video, you're not going to bother... Yeah, I already threw it up. So an F-bomb. when I walked out of... I think it was uh, immediately after I walked out of my game, I published the status. Well... That's the fastest I've ever clocked the fuck out of a Marvel movie. <laughs> I was just like, done. Yes, yeah, so they kill off Loki in the first five seconds. Yeah. And I thought they killed everyone on that spaceship. Yeah, they... They I, just retconned the people, crap yeah, out they of rep, that. retconned the shit. Because we're... Why the hell wouldn't Valkyrie have been anywhere for the with rest Hulk of the movie? Or just... Or with Thor? And with Thor, Thor is with literally Hulk. by himself with the Guardians. There is no other yeah, Guardians. Yeah. Oh, Apparently everyone survived because his mismatched crew of goofballs from Ragnarok were <laughs> there Just, to play. It's we're, okay. we're jumping into Thor. Jumping into Thor. Okay, yep, we're on a Thor. That's fine. No, no, no. I want to save uh, Thor for last. I think no. there's a lot of complaints. No, we are in okay, Thor. We are Thor. maintaining tonal consistency. I think Whatever the, the one thing I... <laughs> If I look at this movie in exclusion to all others, I can see the character arc that has been done so many times for Thor, and it was executed well. No, I didn't like his whiningness. No, there was but... nothing. There was nothing executed well about Thor. I hated every second Thor was on screen. It really bugged the crap out of me because they had the opportunity to set up his decisions and his choices throughout the movie, but they just went all over the map. 
I mean, it, it boils down to I was very frustrated by the five year time jump. It. They. I'm not sure what they could have done instead, but doing a five year time jump really made us have to reestablish an entire universe we had established. And. I mean, I get that it's for the point of the snap, and you're trying to show us the world has changed, but the entire point is to undo that, so make it go faster. And the issue is, Thor is so dead as a character at that point. It... My, my thought process was, and it's kind of in the overarching theme of Thor's character, is he's not good at being a leader. He's not good at being a commander. He is, like we said in Ragnarok, he's the guy who goes and fights the bad guy. That's what he does. And he's kind of constantly, and I mean, like I said, to beyond repetition, he that's his arc every time. I don't know if I can really be the king of Asgard. And they finally come to a conclusion, and that is he can't. Yeah, Because, I mean, just... like, all of his self-doubt and his questioning are all on the personal level and leadership level. He gets to the end, and there's Thanos. There's no questions asked. asked. He, <laughs> he just goes to town. Unintentional putt. And I like that they didn't, like, magic his his deterioration away. And it didn't, like... Huh? Like, his, he never, like, magicked his belly away. He just put on the armor and went to work. And got his butt kicked. So, yeah, oh, and just... Captain America catching that hammer? Oh! That, that was the Whoa, best 10 out of 10. That was the best moment of the movie was Captain America with the hammer, because... Because uh, I'll be sitting there at work thinking, ah, man, this movie made me mad. But Captain America with the hammer. And then the fight? Oh, oh God, it was... <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. Oh, and he, like, does the sonic boom behind Thanos. Oh, oh so good. I want to see it again just for that. Yeah. Just for that scene. So good. Uh, see, that's how... That's how you do fan service right. It's and there's the it's part all where, like, earned. It's all established. It's all set up. It because it, 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 it plays back to Age of Ultron, Ultron where, where he, he wiggles it. Where Thor's like, shit. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> and the way he's like, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> See, he, Thor is he works great as a commentator. I mean, he's just. Because when he's saying yes, when the Hulk shows up in Ragnarok, it makes sense. The problem is that was that scene was killed because the trailer just used it in all of them. It would, uh, yeah, I was so mad. That's I, how you do a trailer wrong. Trailers have been killing movies lately. I should do a video on that. How trailers are killing movies lately. I think uh, ultimately, for Thor to be good, you kind of need to ignore one and two. As a they're so bad. Yeah, and like. If you take a look at Thor from Ragnarok on, he's got a pretty good character arc that makes sense. Uh, but it's hard because three makes me upset. Well, I don't know. If you if they had done something with the darn friends to make them relevant, to make that their deaths have any impact, I think you well, could have tied just, all three. They just brought them all back. It was oh that guy. Oh wait, no, oh, not those ones. Not those friends. No, the the ones that were... Just die in the first five seconds. That of... were in his D&D party in the first and second ones. Because <laughs> they were a large part of his character. He went to war with them. They were his friends. And they just kind of get... Need to ignore. That's what they were trying oh, to tell but you. But Sif the first didn't, two... got, didn't die because she's important to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and you can't see her on screen at all anymore. It's not allowed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, when she goes to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., she can't come back. Nope. Can't. <laughs> It's a one-way transfer. Although Fury came back, he's been on. Oh, he has. Well, they did kill him in Endgame. <laughs> True, and, and he didn't show up for the final fight, which pissed me off. Oh, you're right. He's not in the final fight at all. He might be gone. No, he's. Agents on the of porch. Shield killed him. He's on the porch. <laughs> he's a scroll. We're scroll. He's the scroll that was Agent Coulson that died. <laughs> it's just <sighs> no, because he can't come back because he's on Agents of Shield. That can't be the scroll. Uh, no. What if... No, because the scroll died in Avengers. What if so another scroll came back to be Fury what in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? everyone is scrolls? <laughs> in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? They're all scrolls. <laughs> End of the series, everyone just... <laughs> wait, you're a scroll? You're a scroll? What? What? Wait, who have we been fighting? Damn, we're we're all scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been a giant, like, <laughs> infighting battle between scrolls unbeknownst to themselves. There was an there was another point while we were doing all the scrolling that I wanted to 
something came up. Was it on Thor? There's a part where he gets the axe. You're like, no, no, I'll take that one back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I well, more complaining about oh. Thor. The time travel with to meet his mother. Well, it's because they couldn't get uh, Natalie Portman to come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was there. That was no. new footage of her. No, there was no new footage of I Natalie Portman. That was new footage of her. There was a deleted scene they used, and that's oh, it. Oh, okay. There was no new no, no vi- video of Natalie Portman. They couldn't get her. Okay. For a freaking Endgame. Easily the highest, might be the highest grossing movie ever. Natalie, get off your high horse. It's on a trajectory. Well, I mean, it is beating uh, Avatar in like dollars per hour. Well, it is. Force Awakens is the one to beat right now, isn't it? Oh no, this is on track for. Uh, uh, I thought Force Awakens beat Avatar. No, Avatar's still the best. Uh, fun question: With your family someday, just sit down at the David dinner table and ask them to name a character from Avatar. Yeah. Just I do not I... get how. <laughs> There's a great link for this. Do, 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 do. No, we don't want a list of best versus worst. Okay, I enjoyed Iron Man 3. I know most people didn't, but I enjoyed Iron Man 3. And honestly, I enjoyed Thor the Dark World, but I don't like Thor, so what do I care? That's not... <sighs> There's a great Black graphic. Black Panther is... Yeah, Black Panther took off like crazy. It's It's back end has been crazy good. There's a graphic. It's literally the same link. I hope you guys are enjoying listening to us browsing the internet. Dang it, I... I hate you. I'm going to Bing. That's what you've done to me. Bing still exists? You googled Bing. He googled (laughs) Bing. Oh my god, you guys, I don't think you understand what I just had to sit through. Just... So trailers Dang it, there's this perfect freaking graphic and I can't find it. So trailers are ruining movies these days. If you've noticed, a lot of things like to drop tr- plot twists in trailers. I think that started back with uh, Terminator 2 where they tell you in the trailer that Arnie's the good guy this time. And it kind of happens, it happens again in Terminator Genesis. I mean, we've got plot twists... Um, what else is a good example? Got two Terminator movies. <laughs> I know. I've been trying to avoid trailers lately for how much they spoil movies before they come out. That's not helpful. Can we move on, please? I want to bitch about Thor's conversation with his Go mom. Go ahead. Thor's conversation with his mom could have been used to set up his decision to abdicate the throne and wander around with the Avengers at the end. But it has literally nothing to do with how Thor feels about taking over the throne or being responsible <laughs> to his does. people. It's just him deciding, ah, whatever, I'm done. They did not... I feel like they have no idea what to do with Thor, and based on Hemsworth and his acting ability and the kind of person he is... They've come to the conclusion that they can't use him as Thor, the god of the Asgardians. He's Thor, the screwball guardians of the galaxy. I mean, he'll fit in fine with the Yeah, I think that's... I've got to see what the first one looks like. i got to see what that train wreck is going to be. That may be great. It might be horrible. I have no idea where that goes. Because, like, one of the surprise connections in this movie has been Rocket and Thor... Yeah. Rocket was one of my favorite characters in this movie. I thought they did him really well. I honestly, I would have been interested to see what they did. I think. What are they going to do with Gamora? 
that's another thing that pissed me off. But before we get there... Bringing Gamora back Oh my god, let me finish. Go ahead. Gamora. <laughs> I think it would have been a lot more interesting to keep someone like Peter Quill around after the snap to see how people handle him and how he handles other people, being basically responsible for uh, Thanos getting all the gems. Uh, it, there are some things that they could have done that would have been more interesting and yeah easier to work with because I mean they they struggled with so many um, but yes if we want to get on to let's get on to Nebula and Gamora and let's get on to the Guardians people I have zero complaints about Nebula I thought she was fantastically executed she killed her past self She literally shoots her past self. Not literally her past self. Yes. That's the beauty of the multiverse thing. Like, every time things change in the past, like, Thor didn't... Thanos didn't... Explain Captain America. He went on a different timeline <laughs> and came back. how did he back. come back? <laughs> he came back! There's pin particles over there! They grabbed pin particles from how over there. How did he get to that bench without anyone else in the party seeing him then? He's very stealthy. Sometimes he stands so oh still. Oh my god. He becomes invisible. You're writing the movie. Well, it's, it's the only thing that makes la- logical sense. Because the if he just like lived his life and then was there, that makes no sense in the canon. <laughs> the only way any of this makes sense is if there's diverging timelines. Like, Loki is alive in a different timeline. And it's so weird, because they try to have What's-Her-Face explain it. Uh, the, 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 they the, don't do a good... Oh, the, the magic ancient one. lady. I, she confused it for me, because I thought she was saying that they were in a separate timeline, and if you take the stone out... It'll destroy our timeline. It'll make it go. Yeah, it corrupt. was such a weird explanation. Yeah, it confused things because I think everyone seems to think now that there's one main timeline, and when they go back and change something, it splits a timeline off. Whereas I see it as there's a multiverse of timelines, and when they go back and screw things up, that's just a different timeline they screwed up. They can't <laughs> go back to their own timeline. You can't change the past. But it's. But they, this is a timeline where. But then, Thor how came can they return the gems to the timelines they came from? Same space time. I'm, space I'm, and time. It, like, I don't. That's think the only way it makes sense. The movie did mind. not satisfactorily. Explain no, it, it for it, me. I feel it. Not only didn't satisfactorily explain it, I feel it actively confuddled the situation. I'll give you that. Oh, geez. Because I think she was saying that their timeline would get deteriorate not just like it would branch off or be weird okay. it would it would literally like decay their timeline which makes me wonder because what happens to their timeline now that all of the infinity stones are broken isn't theirs going to deteriorate like she was saying well they again i think because i brought this up to another friend i said he didn't destroy them he just atomized them but I don't know what that really means i think it means they exist but they're too small to actually harness anymore it, i I don't know. I think that's that how Th- I don't think that's how Thanos explains it when he said he broke them. Yeah, but it's, not in the sense that like they're he destroys them, he atomizes them, they're gone. They're destroyed. Well, atomize means reduce into tiny particles. Into that, atoms, they're gone, they're destroyed. That's my. That's what I understood. There's a lot of holes in this movie. Yeah. Oh, so can I talk about my most frustrating moment? Depends. Where is it related to characters? Um, all of the girl ones. Okay. <laughs> That's a great preamble for us. I, well, when we were talking about Captain Marvel, we're, we're commenting, like, if I was a woman, this kind of pandering I would feel was a little offensive. When they literally took every single female character that had played any role so in any awesome. movement and just stuck them all together at the ex- explicit exclusion of all of the men in the biggest battle in the history of ever it's just i mean it was just so jarring like that is so it's not like oh we can't have the girls fighting there it was great to see we have women too we have women too we have women too like hey we care we care look at us what's it's uh virtue signal respect women (laughs) you respect the women You did a great job. You had Pepper Potts show up in that Iron Man suit. I thought that was you, great. You don't need to highlight you have the, the Scarlet fact Witch. Like they're you, there. You have strong female they're characters. S- they stand on their own. They don't need you highlighting them. I- exactly. 
Stop helping. You're hurting. You're not good at it. You, you, uh, that's not how you do strong female characters. You don't go, oh, all the boys. We have to be pushed out. Yeah, and it's I girls mean, only time. Because we don't do a guys only. It's, it's dumb and it doesn't make sense. And I mean, they, they did it in Infinity War too, where they had the all the females fighting the female bad guy too. Yeah, but that... <laughs> It wasn't as bad. Anytime there was something bad, they did it to a eleven in Endgame. Just kinda, same with the good. Every time there was something good, they did it to eleven. It's like, just it was a little dumb in Infinity War. It's like, oh, all the girls are gonna fight now because we don't want any of the boys involved. And then it was just like, just the girls, all the girls from ever, girls, all of the girls, girls. in a line. At the head with the womaniest Girl. woman, Captain Marvel. What did they even do? Did they do anything after that? Or they cleared a path just... for Captain Marvel. You know, the strongest badass ever who could literally Person just go, who doesn't Doom. need a path created Ex- for them? It was so dumb. Oh my it God. was so dumb. If you, if you can't tell, my movie comprehension isn't the highest. I need to see things multiple times to really get what's going on. But there's enough to notice. That, <sighs> that was so bad. That was the point that was more jarring than that stupid car in uh, <laughs> the, the Only the steering wheel and chair surviving was more plausible to me than all of the men just like, oh, yep, it's time to let the women have their turn. Okay, let, let them pose for a camera that isn't there. Time, yes. Time, time, time. I, I picture it as like this director like coming up to uh, a girl and like handing her a sign, put it on her chest, and like, Strong female character, yeah, you're good. Look at you, good job, good job. It's so disrespectful. It's patronizing. It is. <laughs> it's so patronizing. It's, it's the irony in the way in the in the idea of not being patronizing. You are still being patronizing. It's like it's like in Get Out when they show the overcompensation of racism, the, the non-racism towards the the black guy. Oh, we love black people around here. Is yeah. It's just like that. Like I'm not racist. I love black people. All the black. I'm. I am so into. Tiger black. Woods is just my favorite athlete ever. Oh, I'm <laughs> shit. I did the thing. <laughs> oh my you god! I'm gonna get crucified. Time, right? I'm going to get crucified. That's not something you can say either. Oh jeez. Sorry. You religious? Jesus is offline. I said jeez. <laughs> get it. Shut up. It, it's just so frustrating because it's it's embarrassing because they did strong female characters really well throughout the movie like having uh the scarlet witch just do her thing and having a uh, nebula literally kill her past self to save gamora it, there were so many great executed then they had to go and just like no women strong god you have beat you over the head yeah, take 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 thor's hammer and just uh, i'm sorry thor's a male we can't use his hammer to beat you over the head with the symbol of him um, what if Thor's a female? What if he's transgender? Well, I mean, what's her face? <laughs> Natalie Portman's character in the comics becomes Thor for a while. Jane Foster. Jane Foster. <laughs> Jane Foster Tamer just beat people over the head with uh, just. <sighs> it was just so frustrating because that they, they'd be going so strong and then they'd just do something so stupid. Oh, and Captain Marvel's usage in this movie was so dumb. She was just there as plot points. Like, she had to be there to be in the next She movies. was literal ex machina. She was there to be an ex machina in any scene that needed an ex machina. And then they'd send her to the other side of the galaxy, whatever they know. How the hell did she know where Thor was? Or uh, Iron Man was? That one I heard explained, because that is Rocket's ship. He probably has, like, some sort of way to locate it. And just they have no not way in to the do movie. It. No, it does not. It's not because in that the would, movie. Because that would show Captain Marvel being helped by a male raccoon, oh, right. and that is not You're acceptable. Right. You're right. That's my male bad. raccoons. I'm sorry, are I'm sorry not for a... I'm sorry for oppressing women. It's just, dang it, Rocket. But like the part where Thanos literally head butts her, something that has like crippled every other person in the movie, and she doesn't even flinch. Just bam, and it's just. Like, she she just Thor, dude. She, doesn't he headbutt Thor or not? Yeah. Headbutts Thor. Headbutts Hulk. Uh, Hulk. Headbutts Hulk. <laughs> headbutts Hulk. Headbutts Sounds like Hulk. something Hulk would say. <laughs> he headbutted me. Uh, we went through Hulk's character assassination, right? Yeah. 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 And then they're, they're like, she's like prying his hands apart. She's so strong. So he, he puts the 
the strong stone out of the hand that he's like losing with and puts it in the other hand and then is strong enough to hit her. It doesn't really make sense, but it was how they got her out of the rest of the movie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Captain, Captain Marvel. She had, what, maybe 10, 20 lines? She played such a tiny She role. got a haircut. That was a good haircut, though. I liked it, personally. Happened in the five-year gap. <laughs> hey, it not, was better than the mohawk. I, yeah, fair I did not like the mohawk. Man, I, I hate to say it, but he had some serious jowls. Who? Get Hawkeye. Like, when I, you get a side view of him, it's like... Brr, look like a... It's still way better than so much of this movie. How do you feel about Hawkeye and Natalie, and Natalie Portman? Nat. <laughs> uh, Nat. Natasha. I love the scene and the, the 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 way it played out was really good. I'm just I don't like that it was Hawkeye that lived. It, it doesn't seem like the right decision for me. I. Hawkeye had his happy ending. No, he didn't. That was the point. Is what? Because he had to be able to go back to his family. I mean, I. No, he doesn't. Is that the kind of example you want to set for your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mean. Sorry, women. <laughs> Maybe we should just regularly apologize to, to a woman women just to cover our women? bases. W- respect my women. women. Respect women. R e s p e c c, women. R e s p c c women. <laughs> I'm sorry, woman. <laughs> women, woman, just woman. woman. Sorry, woman. I'm sorry, woman. <laughs> Just the one that's offended. Apparently. God, I hope we don't become mainstream. I don't know if we're going <laughs> to There get... goes our political oh, careers. Geez. Now we are yeah, alt-right gamers, go... aren't we? Yeah. We haven't even talked about games yet. You keep doing that white power sign. <laughs> I could do another sign if you want. With this, just kind Live of... long and prosper. Is that too close to a W? And then my head's a P? Your head is P. <laughs> Got him. I'm sorry, is this a thing? Probably. Probably offensive. The Second Amendment. I'll do the big thonk gesture. We were on something, though. Um, We were on... Captain Marvel. Not the women. Yeah. We were on the women? I'm sorry, that's offensive. I I loved it. I was so concerned how they were going to like integrate Captain Marvel with her complete level of overpower. They seemed like they were going to make her a critical pivot point of this movie get and they're like oh wow we really screwed up yeah just just get her out of here send her to the other side of the galaxy literally send her to well, the other she goes to one side of the galaxy she comes back she goes to the other side of the galaxy she comes back and then she did goes he literally the like side. punch her to the other side of the galaxy because I swear we never saw her after he popped her one no, yeah, I don't for even respecting know she was women like... he lit- she literally got punched once and was just done that was the end of her parole in the movie a big bad strong Iron Man had to come and save the day for her We were on Natasha and... Oh, okay. yeah. I still think... Natasha ended unhappy. She never got a happy ending. Well, she's coming back. I mean, they're all coming back. I mean, most of them came back. She's No, she's one of the few that she's just dead. She's coming back. They, I mean, she's she doesn't get have her own spin-off the... series. She's coming back. I mean, they literally they're brought back Kamara. Com- so. Nobody dies in these movies. No. Uh, uh, what's his name? Vision and Natasha are the current mm-hmm. only ones that are... Dead, dead. Oh, and the Heim- Loki. No, he's back. Heimdall. Heimdall's dead. But you can't look at the Thor movies. They, they don't count. They are going to be back. Everyone is going to be back. They will literally write everyone back except Iron Man because his contract's up. Hey, thanks, Meta Knowledge. It's great to see you. <laughs> well, the beauty of Speaking this... Speaking of which, we haven't addressed Iron Man actually dying yet, so it's now out there. Well, I mean, we went to yeah. spoilers territory. Yeah, but we are in... 40 minutes in before we breach that. Oh, my God. But, like, the way they set up to bring Speaking everyone back is they just, look, we have infinite alternate universes. I mean, just gonna, in gonna, the universe where just, Thanos literally... Here's Thor. <laughs> I mean, we literally have a universe where uh, uh, Thanos left and then alternate died. Alternate Captain America. <laughs> uh, what else do I got here? Captain uh, Marvel, that care Like, I forget uh, his name, but he is... He's literally just a guy who wears wings. He is 
Falcon. See, the single least interesting Marvel hero when compared to Ant-Man, compared to Hawkeye, compared to... There's no one less interesting than Falcon. <laughs> and they literally made him Captain America. So we now have Captain Falcon for the least interesting Captain Marvel. Falcon. <laughs> Did I lean over to you and tell you that in the theater? Captain Falcon, yes. You said that in the theater. I'm just about Captain lost. <laughs> Captain Falcon. I'm just, I've used it nonstop since. It's the only way I call, refer to him now as Captain Falcon. <laughs> just, uh, I know, Falcon I, Shield. I'm okay, and I understand, and I'm not... I don't have a problem, per se, with Hawkeye living... But I do not like that that was the decision. That, that did not give me the happy conclusion to Nat. Uh, one of the characters that they I feel has... Their own movies. For a character that has been grossly underused, has not gotten the respect that she deserves, being one of the best actresses and best characters in the plot, to just be killed off like that... Yeah, okay. She's had unhappy from unhappy to the most unhappy to literally dead. Let's contrast this with the necessity to stack all the female characters on one screen. Because... That doesn't get there. She doesn't get to be there because she did. <laughs> but just uh... Nat, one of the original, original Avengers. Literally in there before Captain America or Iron Man. She's the one who recruits Hulk. She's well. Well, she shows up in the movies before even Captain America. I think. Yeah, Iron she Man shows up too. in the first Iron Man. I think. Second Iron Man. No, it's the first. No, she's not in the first. First just has Nick Fury, Coulson, and... You're right. Yeah. She's in the second one. But still really early. I've forgotten most of the second one because that was pretty bad, too. Watch, 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 I like watch. the third one better than the second one. I, I think the third one gets way too much flack. The actual villains suck, <laughs> but the villain rocks. Uh, yeah. Mr. Angry Hands is not very interesting, <laughs> but the Mandarin is very interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, guys, whoa, guys. <laughs> Them bursting into the Mandarin may be one of my favorite Marvel movie scenes, too. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, I'm Kevin you Spadry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, girls, so girls, girls, girls. We're on Nat. And... Yeah, I think we've kind of done that one to death. I'm so unhappy with the conclusion Nat got. Like if you compare that, like you said, to all of the women getting all of their time in the sun, she literally gets splatted. Just kind of. I think I actually sent that to you. Like, strongest uh, female character in the frickin' movie gets uh, splatted to save the uh, male that loves her the most. Like it's so. Like, if you look at it from a whammon standpoint, like, you know, social justice war, that looks really bad. Yeah, it's Natalie such a heavy contrast way. in the treatment of the other female characters. It, who else could we have killed off in that scene to make it better? I don't know if anyone else could have been sacrificed. No, they, 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 they was definitely the right two people. And maybe Bucky. Maybe Scarlet Witch. Who would she have been to... She's got no one, unless they brought back Vision. Okay. I think Captain and uh, Bucky could have worked. Then you wouldn't have had that scene at the end with Bucky to be mad about. But they can't bring back Bucky as a cheaper but still usable actor for the futures. Like they're going to. They apparently don't like Bucky. Bucky's great. Yeah. That was, when they did bad, they did really bad. Their usage of Bucky, I just don't get it. He's he's been so damn neglected, it just uh, as much as Nat. They literally splatter before the final fight. He's Two of the originals. A, he's basically a prop for like five movies. Yeah. <laughs> he's so good in Winter Soldier. That's an underrated movie. That's actually one of the highest grossing ones. When. Uh, it set the tone, and then everyone just went back on the tone. Mm-hmm. Because that, cause that, like I said before, I was waiting for the Marvel movie that changed the game. That did change the game, but then they changed it right back the next movie. Yeah, Disney bomb. It'll... Now we do cookie key cutters, what sells good. It affected the whole world, and then they just decided it didn't. 
I don't know. Let's see. Um, who do we got next? We got Rocket. Uh, I don't remember much of Rocket other than Rocket just did good. I just had no complaints board for Thor. Did he? Who called him a, uh, uh, the dude or something like that? Someone made a reference to a. Uh, uh, oh, Lebowski. Lebowski, and that was good. That made me laugh. Is that Peter Quill? Might, Might have been. been. No, it would have been Iron Man. <laughs> that was one of the. Thanks, Lebowski. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Rocket was kind of underused. He did good interactions <laughs> with Thor. Remember when I leaned over when they were going to New Asgard and they said, are they going here for Aquaman? <laughs> <laughs> it looked so Aquaman. <laughs> it looked like the same set. <laughs> it uh, might have been the same set. <laughs> uh, let's see. We, I'm trying to save Iron Man till the end because I have a lot of things I'd like to come. Just, 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 just look come, at that. Just, just. Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Ant-Man was fine. I don't I don't have any... God you just it. turned on a trailer. I'm sorry. Whatever. Yeah, we've got... Okay, we've got Ant-Man to talk about. All right, there, Wakanda was in the movie. Who's, oh, yeah, Wakanda. The, the, why is she on the cover? Because Black Panther is dead. But she didn't... She wasn't. Oh, no, she was in the movie. She was she, in the. She was in the hologram. She was a hologram. She was the, That's how we respect. And then uh, she shows up at the end. Yeah. She gets to be in the final, final scene. Respect no, 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 no. <sighs> yeah, they literally just wrote Black Panther out of this whole movie just, too. Uh, but uh, oh, but the th- the scene where Captain America gets Thor's hammer. It's just it's so good. Yes, I love. So I, I'm sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> I liked the part where they were playing catch or like uh, keep away with the gauntlet too and like Spider-Man mm-hmm. swinging around carrying it. Spider-Man was good. And the Valkyrie coming back was really good. I was happy to see that. Um, it doesn't make any sense given the what happened in Yeah, why the hell wasn't she there Infinity before? War. <laughs> she, it was, it was, it like was they super can... implied that they were all dead. Yeah. And they felt they were like, oh yeah, we probably should dial back on that test to... They we, could have said literally anything to make it just... They could have literally just gotten rid of that whole scene. Like, it served no purpose other than to give Thanos the Infinity Stones. Well, I think they had to kill off Heimdall and Loki. Why? Why? You literally bought Loki back! It's just... Uh, I don't... That opening scene. Okay, me off. maybe now I take it back. Winter Soldier is the best Marvel movie because it is, doesn't doesn't have a dumb scene like that, and it doesn't treat Hulk so badly. It's Hulk isn't in it, which is better than the last two movies. Ah, Hulk pisses me off. Let's get into Hulk. Let's talk about Hulk next. Hulk next. We did talk about Hulk. He got nothing. They treated him like complete um, utter shit. He, well, he becomes. Cause, so the big problem at the end of Infinity War was Hulk would not come out and fight. And so he's out of the first part of the movie, this one. No, er, no. Does he come to the planet with Thanos? No, I don't think so. He hadn't come to terms with uh, Hulk at that point. No, it but I was wondering if Banner came with them to the planet. I don't, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But, uh, it's just Banner. He doesn't... But then jump five years ahead and it's... Oh, yeah. Buff it Banner. Out. It's a partially green Banner. And he's just kind of... It worked out. I'm fine now. I reconciled my differences with my inner beast, and now I'm just a scientist that's buff. Which I really dislike the idea of that. There, once again, you've gotten rid of the gotten rid of the character depth. Just, uh... and, and and not only did they get rid of the character depth, they did it without even a montage. It's just it's all gone now. God, that's why I hated the time jump. I was so mad at the time jump. I thought it was great when you looked at it for Captain America. They did it great for Captain America. They did it great for Iron Man. Yep, Iron they, Man was... Well, they... They did it great for Ant-Man. <laughs> he just appeared and didn't have any of it. They, they could have made this a trilogy. Oh, God. You say that? They could have. Yeah, of all, pe- of all people to say drag out a story longer... They could have made this a trilogy. I suspect they're going to do some stuff in that five-year period. Yeah, but it's just... 
but it's backtracking to fix your own flaws. Well, I writing. think it's to put stuff in there because there's so much potential content there. <sighs> Thanos wasn't as interesting in this movie. Oh, well, I mean, they he kill was... him in the first five minutes, and then it's just other Thanos. Yeah. He, he's just kind of generic bad guy in this movie. He, yeah, he did his thing, and now it's time to kill him and then bring him back to kill him again. I mean, the way the uh, the final fight set up was, was really good. Him just sitting there. Like, no tricks. No traps. I'm just here. I've got my sword. I'm ready to fight. That was really That's cool. That's right. He had a sword. Yeah. That dual we dual sword that apparently can cut through the the, the, the siver the siver the siver boomerang siver <laughs> siver boomerang <laughs> threw me off there. Sorry, you probably haven't seen the warden skin. It's actually very similar to that. Uh, but uh, I haven't played League. And... He just like cuts up the Iron Man shield, which I thought was surprising. Oh, the the, the or not Iron Man, Captain, Captain America Sh- shield. Well, that was to be the payoff for Iron Man's vision in uh, Age of Ultron, where they've got the mound of corpses and Captain America's shields cut. Oh, it, it was it yeah. was a payoff for a setup, a very small payoff for a very small setup. I'm so glad we had that, especially because that vision was just given oh, to yeah. him by Scarlet Witch. Did, did they sh- did they show how they fixed the shield? No, nope. like. Not gives back a whole I was thinking shield. about that too. Oh my god. We he are, got it in the alternate universe. We are, we are, Remember? He went back in time. Now he's Captain America again. He gets to be Captain America all the way god. up into far into the future. This movie is worse back. than I thought. I may actually have to go with the one. No, I'm not going with the one. Because Thor is oh, Thor. That's Thor's that hammer, man. With the, oh, the Captain America oh, shield. Just, oh, just, so good. But I keep going back to that. That's the problem. All right, time to get in. I am Iron Man. They couldn't have given him a better freaking last line. Well, he gets more last lines because hologram death note. Yeah, that was pretty good too, but those technically are post-mortem lines. I appreciated the arc. They They really did Iron Man a lot of justice. Captain America too, except for that end. I would have... I was kind of surprised Can't it took... No, I, I'm surprised it took Iron Man so long to get back interested in the game. Because I thought just bringing up Peter would have been enough to immediately drag. He has kids, though, now. His own kid. I, lo- I, oh, was good. I love the scene with his dad. Just Oh, that was great! It was beautiful. Oh, it really was. That was really good. Like I said, man, when they did it good, they really did it good. That whole <laughs> bit was so good, including the awkward hug and just, oh, um, oh okay, thank Being you. Being able to reconcile with the day. That was so good. <laughs> I was emotionally charged, made sense. They all acted in character. Just kind of... Two new dads. Just kind of... Oh. Oh, it gives me chills. It was such a good scene. When they did it good, man, they really did it good. <laughs> 10 out of 10 and 1 out of 10 at the same time. It really is the most, like, bipolar movie I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, well, except maybe Mandy. Oh, we didn't... Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> that was pretty bipolar. Did we cover Ant-Man? I don't know that there's much to talk know, about he, Ant-Man. He just kind of gets pooped on the whole movie. <laughs> just, and that's not... And He's Ant-Man a plot flies poop. up the... Uh, the <laughs> it's not a meme back. reference. Yeah. I forgot about that. I hate that meme. I hate it. So dumb. It's no Uganda knuckles, but it's still bad. Do you know the way? Stop it. Okay. I will smack. You see what I have to put up with? <laughs> it just you, yeah, Ant-Man you know. Ant- was a plot point. He didn't serve any real purpose. He was a comedic point. I, I don't have any real qualms. Do you or have any care. growth or anything? No. What did he do in the past? He was in the time warp and didn't... He was in the quantum realm, and it passed for like five seconds. No, I mean when he went back in time to help fight. The... You know what? See, I don't was about remember. The... Oh he no, there. he went to uh, Avengers Land, and then he got ditched. They screwed up getting the. Oh, Infinity did he go stuff. back to the present and just kind of be out of it? I'm yeah, I remember. Okay. They got, 
They got they got one stone. No, they didn't. Mm-hmm. They, they got nothing. Yeah, no, they got the stone from what's her face, the ancient one, the magician lady. Um they failed to get the Tesseract. Yeah, and then they went home. Him and Hulk. Okay, yeah. That okay. was it. Ant Man did nothing but like climb inside Iron Man's suit. No, because don't they all reappear at the same time? At yeah, the end? that's how time travel works. That's fine. <laughs> Ant-Man, he was there. He did lift crushed building off of him later. Good character arc. Yeah, Ant-Man was there. He didn't have a character arc. Nebula. Nebula was good. I liked everything yeah. I did with Nebula. Yeah, Let's sure, go are you listening to me? I keep going into Nebula. She yeah, but we, we, didn't, we haven't followed her story from beginning to end yet like we've been doing with other people. So we've got... In the beginning, she, she barely reconciles with her sister, goes to fight Thanos, and now she is stuck on the ship with Iron Man. Doesn't understand humans, so Iron Man does the thing he the thing he does. Tony, he, he plays games. He breaks down walls with his socially Strange awkward hum- humor, socialness. He and becomes friends with Nebula. Yeah, and then pretty much dies there with her, and she actually cares. He he makes her human, or more it brings out her that's humanity. racial at you all know, for her being an alien species. But, that's my bad. Um, respect women. Respect aliens. She is a woman, so I gotta aliens. respect her. Well, You're assuming her gender. She's an alien cyborg. It's true. She might not have gender. <laughs> I really don't know, honestly. Why? She's a blue why do we keep coming back to this? Can, we, we are thing. we are fifty seven minutes into this. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was super cool to see her go back in time and essentially get captured by Thanos because she connects on her neural network with herself. And that was a cool way to do that. That Thanos sees what's happened, going to happen, and goes to the future to stop them from stopping him. To stop the stopping of the stopping. I thought it was cool. I like the way they handled time travel in this movie. It was pretty consistent as long as you give them an explanation for not. how for how the uh, Iron Man wo- or uh, Captain America worked. Uh, it was bad. Uh, I'm sorry if any of my Discord friends are actually subscribed to this, having to deal with me. Uh, You're welcome. I bring out the best in him. I did. <laughs> Let's see what else was there. Yeah, it did seem a Gamora. little preposterous that they literally like no one noticed that the the cyborg with zero humanity was no longer had yeah, some the, humanity. The ignoring of Nebula to allow the final plot to take place kind seems of seems a little contrived. contrived. Yeah. But as far as things to overlook, that is so low on the list of complaints about this <laughs> consistency wise. <laughs> Because she was always pretty standoffish. It would have been fun, because what should have happened is Tony has a conversation with her and realizes something. Because they needed, they should have built on the connection she and Tony made at the beginning. Yeah, it was an unutilized Uh, uh, thing there. Set up without a payoff. But it's a small complaint as far as complaints go in this film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, because everything else I liked about Nebula. She's like her having a connection with past Gamora, and basically Gamora's willing to trust that she that this is the reality of the future. And it's the to trust sister her. she wanted. And they, they kill old Gamora, which does not break the time continuity because it's Nebula different universes. Nebula literally shoots herself. Yeah, that's fine. Her shoots Multiverse her Multiverse like, theory. It's killing the grandfather. It's, oh. That's not how that works. Oh you can't God. change the past. <sighs> Uh, kill the past. You can't yeah. change the past. Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. All right. Mm-hmm. That's what Kylo Ren taught us all. Yep. Oh, thank God. Life lessons. lessons. Life lessons from <laughs> Last Jedi. Oh. Hashtag kill the past. I sent you the mixed drink. That's the blue milk from the alien. That's <laughs> right. It's oh, like the <laughs> cocktail mix. Uh, if I ever get back into drinking, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> I had a Bailey's and root beer today. Oh, that was good. I have a bottle like of brandy. It's like 50 I have a bottle of brandy sitting in my apartment and no nothing to mix it with. 
can send you home with a two liter of coke, honestly. Diet. You could just bring it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. We should really go to bed. We are not done yet. We have to... Okay, we have got, to hit Iron Man. We've got Gamora, we've got Thor, we've got... We Thor. haven't done Gamora, actually. Okay, we'll do I Gamora. I don't like what they did with Dude. Gamora. Dude. That she just runs off makes no Goodbye. sense. She's literally found her long-lost sister, and it's I was the looking sister for she her. wanted. I was looking for her at the funeral, too. I'm like, okay, where's she at? Where well, she, she doesn't at? know Iron Man. She's where from she past at? Gamora, so it's... Yeah, but she would have been there for Nebula. She would have been exactly. there for her sister in a That's sad That's why it doesn't time. make sense that she just ran off abandoning Nebula. It doesn't make sense and to me. And so they can set up Guardians 3 yeah. and reset a love story that was already told because, for God's sakes, we can't have a happy couple in anything ever. Yeah. Hey, Pepper Potts. <sighs> no, no she has, she's she been gone for how many movies now? Yeah, in a happy relationship with Tony. We don't need to have them there all the time. And now he's dead. Yeah. No happy couples for anyone. Oh, ever. oh, Captain America. He literally lived with her until he died. She died. They both died. That's no, what happened. No, he happens. didn't die. He was there old, sitting on the bench, not dead. Okay, fine. He's not dead yet. No. I'm not dead yet. Not everyone is dead yet. <laughs> they have to die eventually. We're not yeah, all vampires just, here. You never know. They're all squirrels. <laughs> They're all squirrels. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> We're just going to keep looping back. This after this. Hey! Stop. You got any more toys to pull out and throw away? We should get that out of the way now. The, t- the spatula. Actually, you know, I could use a spatula. Okay. Luckily, I've got another one. I might want to send those through the dishwasher before I use them again. <laughs> How... Why? <laughs> what keeps happening? I'm out of spatulas. I'm on Discord. But I do have a bed. I, I, I'm going to go on Facebook and remind everyone that I respect women. <laughs> respect women. <laughs> I, I think I'm out of toys now. <laughs> Rocket, there wasn't much to do. Tasha, we covered. I don't think we literally see Groot. I am Groot. To say uh, Mr. was underused is an understatement. Strange. Strange. I love Doctor Strange. He had what? One line? Two lines, if you include. No, it's. No, because he says, if I tell you. You didn't laugh at my joke for how many lines do you have? (laughs) You didn't get my joke. I'm so glad. Do you see what I have to put up with here, people? That's a pretty good joke. This, This guy. He's I literally think weird. he might have only two lines. If I told you, it wouldn't happen. War Machine. Which is a great... Oh, God. What do they do with him? Actually, he's pretty funny in this movie. I don't remember him. Because he calls him. out Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's like, Lola's go- like, hey, we're all familiar with the superhero thing. <laughs> Calm it down a bit. <laughs> Just, that was great. Just call it out. I don't remember, I don't remember him after the opening, anything. though. I don't think he does anything. See in the end fight? Yeah. Okay. Black Panther was eh, gone for, except for the last fight. Black Panther may not have gotten a single line. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Masterpiece. Uh, Spider Man. The Wasp is there. That's right. Oh, she, yeah, she was she there. She got her pose, but freaking Black Widow didn't. Valkyrie got her freaking, pose. Freaking the warrior like soldier that uh, Black Panther has a crush on. And freaking just his little sister got more action in the final fight than <sighs> Natasha. Falcon, soldier, Loki. Was Falcon in the final fight? Probably. Who cares? God, he's so uninterested. Of all the people to make Captain America... I feel like they've. This is why they've been trying to shoehorn him him, him into every freaking movie so aggressively. Happy Hogan. I so like where do Happy. they go from here? They've got Captain Marvel, Guardians, Spider Man still. Winter Soldier and Falcon. They'll be teamed up. I'm sure. I don't think Winter Soldier will be seen again. I honestly do not think he will show up again. I think this is probably his last movie. Uh, and sadly, but. I think we'll have Winter or Captain America, Falcon, 
Oh, that's right. Maria Hill was in it for two seconds. Who's that? Uh, Robin from How I Met Your Mother. Uh, she was oh. important in the other movies. Yeah, she's yeah, she's she was a great character. She yep. Yeah. Did she get her victory pose? I don't think she got. I don't her think victory. she did. No, 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 no humans well, allowed. Wow. Oh no! Hey no, they let Black Panther's sister in there. She's literally just a I, I was a young child with two guns. It was hyperbole because Scarlet Witch was there and she's human. Yeah, but she's a witch. Like, I was going to say Robin wasn't there. She's literally just a person with a gun. But they let Black Panther's sister come and she's just... A person with laser like, guns. She's like a kid with guns. That's right. Drax was in the movie. I'm not even sure if uh, uh, Groot was in the movie. He, he was there. They had a line between him and Rocket. Star Lord, Morgan Stark, uh, the daughter, Red Skull. I wonder if they'll do more with him. <laughs> Freaking Red Skull, <laughs> just stuck there for eternity, unable to get it. I'm I like that. Confused. Well, I suppose he ages like Captain America then. So he's old, right? Who knows? That's what I'm saying. Captain America had to have lived centuries. To get that old. A different timeline and then travel back to other timeline. This timeline. God damn time travel. They do not. Nobody Multiverse. since Back to the Future has done time travel right. I disagree. Multiverse makes it so easy. You cannot change the past. It, only if they explain it. They tried to. They literally made fun of time travel from Back this to the Future. This is my I'm so done with this phase. So, Thor Skywalker was talking about how he, he figured it out after ta discussing it for two days straight with his girlfriend. They finally came to a coherent agreement on how it worked. And yeah. I just don't think we've explored this enough yet. We're we, at one hour and seven minutes. Which means we have days left to discuss okay. this, so let's get cracking. All right, so, um, in Iron Man 1, when... Well, I think it's time to get to Iron Man. I think he's the last one to talk he, about. He is. We started, we did a bit of... Interesting building with the nebula that is, and it was cool to see him go related. super emancipated, man, mans, manson, emaciated, emaciated. Thank you, not emancipated. They didn't <laughs> break him free from slavery. Well, it, just, <laughs> it was interesting to see him lose it in terms of the other Avengers. I didn't like the way he blamed Captain, but it made perfect sense. It's with Tony. His character. He is such a blamer. Like, he didn't succeed, and he blamed. He just had to blame. It's always somebody <laughs> else's fault. If Quinn was there, he would have hated Quinn, too. <laughs> it was... I mean... It's frustrating, but it does make perfect sense for his character. He just... He is responsible for 99% of the issues on Earth in the Marvel movies. Uh, Literally caused Ultron. He caused Ultron. He... Uh, villain Iron Man 2 1, 2, and 3 um, <laughs> Marvel's like direct result of him uh, driving the nuke into deep space that was alerted Thanos to how powerful they were mm. um, Tony's a lot of problems dragging Spider it's Spider Man Spider Man my dad keeps calling him Spider Man because apparently some joke in Friends from back in the day was <laughs> a guy named Spiderman and they kept I don't know okay it's, it's stuck in my head now you don't need to explain it to me. I'm too just good with Spiderman I like how he gets the kid with pepper pots and then it makes perfect sense as a selfish act for him because he's a very selfish kind of character that he's it's I'm cool to here see from my kid it's so cool to see someone that they've held consistently self-consistent and makes sense and just executed perfectly from start to finish like from iron man one to this movie to his death i think I was think we're fine with captain america until that stupid yeah, ass last scene that was the literal that's another character that's been handled perfectly up until the last scene it just he always kept, makes the morally correct decision whether only it's way, stupid or not the only way they could have made that worse is literally after talking with him he just turns to bucky and bucky's like and captain just goes <laughs> and Bucky's like, what? 
You're not bankable. Sorry. <laughs> I'm with no, you. No, he the just e- goes. That's not America's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you to the end of the budget. <laughs> uh, I loved the America's ass line. <laughs> this is America's ass. <laughs> and when he's fighting himself, it's, I could do this all day. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up. <laughs> it's cool to see Captain America self-aware of just how cliche he is. Uh, that was That was fun. It's cool to see a character and how they... I want to do a from beginning to end. There's a... I think it's Thor Skywalker who does that. A beginning to end for the Marvel characters. He's been doing I'm not also. sure. I should take a look. I, I've... But I want to do one for Captain lately. America because... I'm trying to catch up on all of Mahler's stuff. It's so cool to see a character that has been so consistently and I, I would say impeccably on the side of what is right and good regardless of consequence like every time you get to like a train problem he makes the good decision he's pretty cool and it's led to a lot of strife like his Mm. confrontation with winter soldier his confrontation with cap or um, stark (laughs) yeah stark because i don't think he's always correct but he's always on the side of right Mm -hmm. it's cool to see a character that's done that way and done so well because that can be really boring and really dumb but it's done so well well, he's he's like (laughs) superman except an actual character yeah Uh, captain america's weakness is the fact that he's just a guy superman's weakness is he's emotionally unstable (laughs) and easily manipulated iron man's all of the above (laughs) let's see he really is all of the above. All the worst features of everyone. So we got we got Tony's conversation with his dad, which we covered. Oh, phenomenal! Uh, oh, and the ending scene. So like, I wasn't breaking. Like, I didn't. For some reason, it didn't get me when Iron Man died. Although that line at the end was the well, best. Well, we've got more to go through before we get to that point, don't we? Well, what else does Tony do that's significant before that point? Honestly, I'm not to much. He gets the Tesseract. He he stands up. He It's him, Captain America, and Thor fighting Thanos. Which was a great fight one. scene. It, it, it was an, it's another <laughs> highlight of a mo- the movie. And not just because of the, the hammer wielding. Everyone has a good time during that fight. Um, really well executed. You can see what's going on. You see what, who has what powers. I mean, you still don't understand what Thanos is mean to. But it's still fun to watch people fight. And then Thanos' power level is freaking all over the place, too. Shows up with no Infinity Stones, no powers, and just freaking kicks butt with his sword. (laughs) Uh, Because. Yeah, he doesn't have the gauntlet yet. No, no Infinity Stones. And he beats Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America together. But with the Infinity Gauntlet, uh, Captain Marvel can just kick his butt. Don't worry, Hulk. Did he have the Infinity Gauntlet at that point? Yeah, because he's holding it and she's pointing it apart and so he headbutts her with, while he's okay, yep. that was where she literally doesn't even flinch respect for the strong female characters I think it would have been great if she showed up and she's like I got this and he just whoop, bang and just <laughs> takes her out with the sword she's like who next whoa <laughs> throws a wrench in the the idea of her being absurdly powerful (laughs) Iron Man yeah Iron Man's death finally fine we'll get down to the ending of Iron Man which makes perfect sense for his character he would be the the one selfish solution yeah he would be the one to take all the burden no no consideration for other people finding other solution there was a problem and he solved it and it's great because it's the ultimate conclusion of the tiff between him and Captain America you're not the kind of guy to jump on a grenade to save the other guy. He literally does That's that as right. the conclusion to his character arc. He becomes the better man. I forgot about Finally. That. Which YouTube video did you get that from? Um, or did you figure that one out on your own? No, I think they mentioned that one briefly in one of the Thor Skywalker ones. Okay. I'm sorry, that was rude. <laughs> no, no, it's it's fine. <laughs> I, I've watched I watched a lot of reviews in preparation for this, so I could be extra knowledgeable. I... But 
they brought that up. I don't think they said that explicitly. It's partially my own invention, I, I think, you. maybe. I mean, I like to brag when I make connections on my own, so I wanted to see. I, I like I liked the funeral. I liked the background detail, how they took the kid from Iron Man 3 and he was at the I funeral. totally missed that. I was my like, wife called me. I, like, Did you see the guy, from, the kid from Iron Man 3? I'm like, what? No, I don't it was remember cool. Iron Man 3. <laughs> That's the one with Kevin Slattery, the Mandarin. Oh, but when they had the the daughter ask for a cheeseburger with uh, Happy, is his name right? Yeah, Happy Hogan. That one got me. It oh, I love that Hogan. little exchange was so much more impactful to me than any of the other emotional parts in the movie. That really hit me because it was so real. I like Happy as a character. Me too. He's done he's great. Fun. I. Especially in Iron Man 2. Like, Natasha's just that's knocking out sh- guys all over the place. That's what and I then should he's, do. He's... <laughs> Day one at the convention, be happy. I should be happy, Hoga. I should just go <laughs> full suit, follow people. I, I'm following Tony Stark. I'm, oh, Got shoot, eyes sir. on Stark. <laughs> <laughs> just follow around. Find an Iron Man. <laughs> I'll around. find all kinds of Iron Man and just follow them around. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to see if I can pull that off. That'd be good. Happy. I'm going to have to text my friends and see if they... The people I'm going with and see if they know that. <laughs> uh, that is... I was mad because that's the only scene Nick Fury appears in is the end. wandering out from the background like he did at Tony's funeral. Does he even have a line in the movie? I don't think so. Like I said, he went to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He's done. <laughs> that's a scroll. <sighs> I think the biggest thing that this did for me, oh, we should maybe mention the, the end of the character arc for the Guardians and for Thor is them all getting together to go. That's all parade. there is to it. Yeah. Thor says, oh, whatever, I don't need to be king. Let's go hang out with the Guardians. Which I feel like probably dismissed uh, Valkyrie from any future movies. To Unless love. she gets her own stuff. I doubt it, but maybe. Strong female character, she's getting her own stuff. I don't know. They they did literally kill her and bring her back for. They didn't kill her. We didn't see her die. Sure. They just heavily, heavily implied. implied. It seems like they killed like no one in that. Uh, but uh, the best thing I think my favorite 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 thing about this is this was truly the end game. This is the end of the Avengers. It's the end. Yes, it was a solid conclusion. Uh, so many movies are so focused on the next stuff. And this did set up where we can go from here. But this was the end. The, yeah, even you the after can't... credits scene was that. There was no after credit scene. It was Iron Man building his suit. The sound of It was of him... just the clink, clink, clink. Yeah. But, I mean... It... it... It was an ending. It made sense. You don't need to follow the characters after this because it's... They, those are different stories yep. from now on. This is the end of the Avengers story. That feels good. It, it's it. If I were to describe this movie in one word, it would be satisfying. It was extremely satisfying. There was a lot of problems, but it was so satisfying. I think I'm largely done with Marvel movies after this. I may not watch whatever they do with Captain Marvel. I have zero interest in her character arc. They have really not sold me on her. Yeah, because I'm I've, actually not sure which movies are even in the queue at this point. Yeah, other than Spider Man. Guardians. Homecoming Guardians. I don't all know I know is they've got four or five lined up for Brie Larson, and that's all I know. Okay. Uh, contracts. I yeah. Know. Okay. <laughs> Carlos. Have you seen my steadily expanding? I've had to move on to the second shelf. <laughs> uh, we have to move furniture in 12 hours. Oh my god. I might be moving earlier. Any words of wisdom for the viewers? Take care, friends. Oh, the correct answer was I am... Iron Man. <laughs>